Looking outside my office window, I'm thinking about gardening. It's currently the end of September, and soon the fall weather is going to prevent me from going outdoors. But what if I could grow plants inside and continue to garden throughout the winter time? I'd like to grow peppers in my office, and one of the things that I could use to grow peppers would be an indoor gardening container. I have several options available to me, and the Aero Garden is just one of the ones that I prefer. It's commercially available, uses hydroponics, and has everything built in from timers to water pumps and light cycle. The thing about peppers is just that they take a long time to grow. As a matter of fact, lettuce may only take about 30 days to produce a uh, head of loose leaf lettuce, but peppers can take around six months plus before they even start to produce pods like these beautiful pods pictured here. So to get a jump start on my plans, I had to be very proactive. There are five pepper plants growing in this aerial garden. The seeds were started almost six months ago. By pruning the canopy and the roots, I've kept the plants relatively small. And now that they're mature, I'm going to move them out into alternative containers to allow them to fruit and bloom over the winter time. And here's what I do with those plants. Once I take them out of the Aero Garden, I just take a five gallon bucket and fill it with hydroponic solution, drop the plant into a little net pot where the roots dangle into the nutrient solution and allow the plant to grow. This plant uh, was formerly in an aero garden and now it has been in the bucket and producing pods and is around uh, nine months of age. So it shows that uh, this is a very achievable method. So what kind of grow light do I need to continue to grow these pepper plants once I take them out of the aero garden? You'll note that there's no light above the plant on the ceiling above. In fact, it's nothing except for the sunlight that's coming through the westward facing window. And it seems to be quite enough for my needs. And should you've not been as fortunate to have started your seeds as early as I have, there's another great idea that you could use called cloning, where you can clip off part of the tip of one of the growing branches of an active growing plant, like this pepper, slip the cutting into a foam piece or some other inert material, and stick it into a hydroponic container and allow the cutting to take root. Because what will happen is that particular cutting, because it's taken from a mature plant, will soon produce pods faster than a seeded uh, pepper will because as it uh, continues to grow, it will uh, take on the qualities of that mature plant from which it was taken. So with substantial rooting, the cutting will soon be able to be pulled from the container in which it is rooted and planted alongside in another bucket. And that will provide for me another harvest. So in essence, I could keep uh, producing more and more peppers just by taking cuttings and allowing them to sequentially produce harvest. So if you're wondering whether or not it is possible to have a nice indoor garden, it is quite possible. It takes a little bit of uh, pre-planning as well as some simple setups and a nice size window.